check him out with his lips. Ooh. <laughs> Hey friends, it's Alex with BF Vintage. I just went to an antique mall and while I was there, my my camera wasn't working, my phone was glitching, so I wasn't able to film. And so I decided to do a haul video instead to show you guys what I snagged while I was there. And I found some cute stuff, so let's take a look. All right, so the first thing that I grabbed was this adorably kitschy Santa. Tell me that is not super cute. I can't say for sure if it's a hobbyist piece or not. I still need to do some research, but I thought it was really, really amazing quality. And so it looks like it's a wall hanging. Um, and so you'd like hook it right here, but tell me that face isn't everything. Oh my God. I just love him. He's so like mischievous and cute. So he was the first find. Up next, we have this adorable planter. Again, super kitsch. I, I am definitely a fan of the kitsch, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, and so I could not pass this up. It is something I've sold in the past, and it's done well for me, so I figured I would snag it again. Now I have an event coming up that requires a lot of small items and so I got a set of, I think it's like three of these. This is the first one. It is like the cutest little ant. I just love that he's wearing a little handkerchief like ready to nom nom nom, you know, go to town and it's just the face is so adorable. So that's the first one. This is another one of his friends. So they're ready to, to get their grub on. <laughs> so cute so cute and then the last little guy in the troop in the trio he has this um, uh, string pea with him uh, so I thought that was pretty adorable so that little trio is uh, yeah I got a pretty good deal on that and couldn't pass that up Okay, these might be the funnest grab of my shopping excursion because they're so funny, but check it out. They're like little banana shakers. They've got a fruit um, hat on and they are just too funny. I thought they were so stinking adorable. They do say, let's see. Um, 1988 on the bottom. I just think they are amazingly, stupidly cute. <laughs> Up next, I scored this, and I think it's an ashtray, but he's like playing a tuba, and it's a little hat, like a sombrero or something. But interestingly enough, it does say made in Japan on the bottom. And I actually got this for, I think it was $3, $3 for him. So with that luster wear shine and just how funny it is, I could not pass that up. All right, so if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know that my best friend Tyler from Tyler's Treasure Shop loves trolls. And I saw this cutie, it was a really good deal too. I think it was three bucks. So I had to snag this for him, another gift for him, because it's just too funny. I mean, come on. What is that, like a little pacifier in his thumb? I mean, it's just, and his little booty, like, come on, just stop it. So we had to grab that as well. I also really love like small glass figurines. And so this guy looks just like Pluto. He's got his little, he's got his little butterfly on his nose. He is just darling, super cute. And so I had to snag him because, I mean, how can you not for how adorable that is? He's one of my favorites too. This guy, I thought I had snagged 
in a previous video, but somehow it did not make it into my basket and it was still there when I went back. So I had to grab it. I got it for $4. Yes, $4. And it's just this cute little rainbow squirrel. I think he is really colorful and fun. And so I had to grab him as well. All right, this is another one that I got a really, really good deal on and I was excited about it because it's this Lusterware Deer. I think it's a toothpick holder. Um, and I just love the coloring on it. So cool. It does have Japan mar a Japan marking on the bottom and it's itty bitty. It is super tiny. So I think I got it for three bucks and uh, that was pretty exciting. Up next, we have this Cloisonne uh, mini vase. I love Cloisonne. I think it is beautiful. This one's itty bitty, but I love the flowers on it. And um, like I said, I have an event that's gonna have a bunch of minis and I felt like this was a really, really cool piece to bring to that. All right, so one thing you'll come to find about me is that I love poodles, especially the mid-century ones. I think they're super adorable. And so when I found this guy for $3, I was not really all that mad about the little chip he has in the front because it's still a really good deal. And he is still kitschy cute. He's got the Japan marking on the bottom. And so, yeah, I had to grab him. All right, the next one is, is some more cuteness. And it's this little tiny mouse. Now, he does have a little bit of paint loss on the ladybug, but I am pretty sure that this is a Joseph original. And so I knew that it being at such a low price, there was still gonna be room for profit for me, even with the paint loss. So, isn't he darling? Oh my God, his eyes are so cute. So in one of my previous videos, uh, I had considered grabbing this guy. He is a sugared monkey. Um, but I passed, um, because he was just a little bit too high, but when I went back this time, they were having a sale and so I could not pass him up because there was definitely room for me on him. So I had to snag him and then he's so cute. I love the way he's positioned and his green eyes. It's just too much. All right. So remember I mentioned, I like the glass pieces, especially the little animals. Well, this guy is super cute he's like a little dog but he's got like all this coloring in him i don't know if he's murano i'm gonna have to do some research but nonetheless he is amazing and i snagged him for four dollars and so i will research him later but he's got the funnest face with that red nose it's so adorable could not pass him up Next, I found this toothpick holder, am amber glass toothpick holder. I am not 100% sure of the maker. I'm gonna have to do some research on that, but all the toothpick holders I've ever snagged have always sold for me, um, regardless of maker. So I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna do well, um, especially given I think I paid, uh, I think I paid $4 for that. All right, the next item is this adorable, little elephant I love the paint the hand painted um, little details that it has it does say Japan on the bottom so I was definitely gonna snag this this one was three dollars and sixty cents so we snagged him because he's so cute what do we have next Next is a cute little Homco angel, uh, angel, pixie. I can use words. Um, still has its sticker. These are always so cute and fun. Oh, elf flower hat. So this I paid, I paid $5 for this one. $5 for her. There's a little room for profit there, I think. Oh yeah, this guy is so fun. Check him out with his lips. Ooh. <laughs> he's the cutest little donkey and he looks like he's singing la, 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 like the opera he's an opera donkey anyways he was too cute to pass up he was two dollars and 55 cents at the antique mall so i had to snag him because he's just too cute 
I know I keep saying that, but if it's cute, then I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna snag it. It just has to have that right kind of cute factor, you know? So I can't be held responsible if the cuteness is at a certain level. It's just out of my control at that point. All right, so if you remember in the beginning, I had the um, wall hanging Santa. Now we have a Santa mug. He, the quality is still just as amazing in the mug. And this one is actually signed 1963 for Bobby, mom. How sweet is that? Oh, it gets me in the feels. So cute. And those lashes, you know how I feel about lashes. Lashes for days and I'm all over it. <laughs> We've got one final item from this haul, and it is this bug brooch. Now, it does have some wear, but I still think it is amazing. It's orange, obviously. It's got the green, the green coloring, the uh, the green eyes and just some accents of green. So, it, and I love that it's brass. That one I paid $3 for, $3 for that one. And I can't decide if I'm gonna keep it or not, cause I love it. <laughs> so that is everything. Our total for that sh that haul was $115.04. Um, and yeah, man, there's so many goodies. I don't know which one was my favorite. Oh, it's so hard to decide, but I think if I had to pick, it would probably be the banana shakers because it's just too funny. They're so cute. They have little maracas in their hands. I mean, come on. It's just, it doesn't get better than that. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. And if you want to see more videos, you got to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.